first on the go. We start with the state's twister ticker ticking up. A total of seven tornadoes touched down on Wednesday. Four in western New York, another three here at home, leaving a trail of destruction up and down the thruway. Overnight, Oswego and Wayne counties adding to the tornado tally. New reports coming out of Redfield and Fairhaven at some point today. The National Weather Service is sending another crew to central New York to survey damage down in Tully, Moravia, Locke, and then they'll head on over to a section of Seneca County. Tornadoes aren't all that spewed from the remnants of barrel flooding now to blame for a hefty amount of damage in the North Country. Roads cracked across Lewis County and homes seeping with water, Lowville bearing the brunt of the damage. The damage is done, but the cleanup just beginning. According to the Cayuga County Sheriff's Office, there is a significant amount of debris floating in county lakes and waterways. Deputies now warning boaters to be careful. Back in Syracuse, smoking materials to blame for sparking a fire on the south side. The call going out just before 2.30 yesterday afternoon at the Ballantine Gardens, about a block from the Valley Plaza. Crews say everyone got out. The Red Cross is now helping one person. Make sure you grab your bug spray before sitting by a bonfire this weekend. Oswego County is reporting another bout of the West Nile virus. A good reminder to limit outdoor activities between dusk and dawn when mosquitoes are most active. Come Monday morning, the state DOT is moving parts of I-81 down to one lane. This will impact the interstate going both north and south in Syracuse, as well as northbound lanes in Cicero. Lane closures will be in place between 9 and 3, Monday through Friday. Set your alarms. Tickets for the State Fair go on sale Tuesday morning at 9. Admission is $8, 12 for parking, and 25 for frequent fairgoer tickets to get you in every day. Kids 12 and under and adults 65 and older get in for free. And parking and admission are free for the Middle Eastern Festival. It's happening all weekend at St. Elias Church on Onondaga Road. The fun runs from 4 to 10 today, noon to 10 tomorrow, and noon to 6 on Sunday.